Thomas from London and Gertrude and I have arrived close to Littlehampton with our camper van where we're going to spend the next two nights. We've come here to a place called Cuckoo Camp and we're going to enjoy it. We've rented this van from a place called Go Booney where you can rent dog friendly motorhomes, camper vans, normal motorhomes, camper vans and they have one of the biggest if not the biggest selections in the UK so do check it out. And yeah I'm very excited we're going to try to relax as much as we can. We're obviously going to show you this weekend and we're going to show you everything our little big camper van has to offer. All right, so welcome to our humble boat. Come inside. I'm going to give you a bit of a room tour of our home for the next two days. Okay, first we have our nifty little kitchen here with gas supply and a little pull-out board for cooking and chopping vegetables and then a hidden sink with running clean water of course. Underneath we had drawers with all the kitchen utensils you could possibly need, then of course a fridge which we filled and a freezer for those who want to stay longer. And this was our comfy bed with the best lookout and storage over the bed and we also had a toilet with a light and a shower of course, although we didn't actually use the shower because we used the one at the campsite to safe water. So this specific camper van or motorhome, I'm not quite sure which one it is, but I will find out for you. I'll put the link down below anyway. It's really stacked with all the things you need, everything, cooking, utensils, etc. And it has actually space for four people. So if you sort of walk all the way through, you have a bed over there, which obviously sleeps two people. And then here behind me, I mean, I'm not 100% sure how it works, but these are essentially two bunk beds where people can sleep as well. So you can come with a family of four, which is amazing. And you have an outdoor shower actually as well, which I'll show you. So I'll show you the van from the other, ooh, from the other side. Remember if you say you can have an outdoor shower? Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, we won't be able to have an outdoor shower today because you've got like people sort of on the left and right of us. But in case you were going a little bit more private, it's, um, where was it? Oh, it's here, look. <coughs> there how crazy is that so if you're going wild camping i guess that's what this is um that's what this is for that's why it's better and um yeah obviously up here is the bed and then you've got some storage here and underneath so we've opened the bed bit now underneath there you've got like your chairs and stuff and then we've got the chair here and yeah that's it we're now going to settle in and then we're going to start cooking because it's already six o'clock <laughs> And you may be wondering, how am I going to eat this? But this car is full of surprises. Watch this. <laughs> so obviously the seat is not loose. You have to like change some things, but you can actually oh, turn it around. And here we are. <laughs> Happy dinner time. Hello, so uh, Gertrude's just gone to the bathroom. He's not left me. <laughs> I've just tested out the bed. So the thing is, I can actually, as you can see, like this is me pushing <laughs> my feet onto the side of the van. So I think I can lie probably, let me actually try it. If I can see if I can lie properly straight. <sighs> yeah, I can just about. So there's about five centimeters of my head space and um, five centimeters at the back. Oh, Gerd is just back. So yeah, I can lie just to, just about straight, but um, if, you're really t if you're really tall, so if you're like taller than 170, you might not fit this way. So you may have to like sort of, you know, want to put your legs this way, but for me and Gerd is absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> gonna chill a bit now and then go to sleep. Shut it, so I didn't want to... That's okay. How is the bathroom? Yeah, good actually. <laughs> Bathrooms here are very, very clean actually. So the toilets and also the showers. Love it. Although we have our own, obviously, but you want to not use all your water that you brought. Okay. Good morning, everybody. So how did we sleep? That is always the question when you're camping. I want to say we slept okay. Gerge probably didn't sleep like amazing. <laughs> I probably slept a little bit better than I thought. The bed is obviously, like I said to you, just long enough, which is okay. So I kind of ended up sleeping mostly on the side. It was super quiet, it's a little bit cold, but this van obviously has a heating. So we put on the heating. And now we've just used the showers and we're ready to have some breakfast. Right now it's a little bit rainy, but hopefully the sun is gonna come through and later we're gonna go for a huge walk, which I will take you along as well. Uh, 
So we walked for about 40 minutes or so um, all the way to Klimping Beach, which is what this beach is called. I want to say it's quite a stony beach, so you'll be able to see behind me there, there's quite a lot of stones. But, you know, if you come here and if you stay here, it's definitely worth the walk because we've just had some fish and chips, as you've seen. But, you know, if you want to come here and if you want to, you know, walk, it's definitely worth it because obviously you can have some fish and chips, you can be by the beach and normally if the weather's a bit better, you could probably hang out here. But it's kind of on the edge of raining the entire time. <laughs> so we're hoping that it lasts whilst we do a little walk along. But yeah, this is it. This is uh, the UK camping experience, I would say. And I also need to find Gutch. Right, hello. <laughs> so we are back from our beach walk and we are a little bit cold now because the temperature has gone down. So what does that mean? It means we're going to make a fire. Yesterday, the lady here from Kuku Camp has already given us logs, which are here. Can you see them? Yeah, you can. Which are here. So we're going to do that now. I mean, wish us luck. Like, as you know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, I'm not very good at making fires. I'm just saying treehouse with Antonia two years ago, but you know, it's always a, a new try. <laughs> so let's do it. Let's have a look. <laughs> I think you kind of pile them up like this and then you just kind of light it. We've got some kindling here as well. And uh, you can actually buy this from the camp. I think it was six pounds for all the logs and for all the kindling. So yeah, let's see. You gotta slow down, look around you, son. Today is just today and not tomorrow. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the result after about five to 10 minutes, I wanna say. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think it's bad. I hope that all of them are going to catch fire now and they're going to have a nice warm evening. Okay, about 20 minutes later. Hey! <laughs> so this is a really good fire now. We're sort of just sitting really close and our faces are nice and warm, which is really lovely. And some of the other campers here, they have um, marshmallows, which li literally is what we should have brought, but we forgot. Hello! <laughs> um, but yeah, it's super nice. And like I said, six pounds for these logs. I'm just gonna sit here all night now. I have to make dinner, but yeah, we did it. So it's dinner time. I am making, I don't actually know, did I talk to you yesterday? I'm making a similar dish to yesterday because we always feel like it kind of works if you're going camping, but you do the same thing twice. So I'm making like, um, I've got some quinoa here, which I've prepared. And then we're making like a sort of mixed vegetable, you know, fried mixed vegetable, ish moment together with it and then we kind of put some yogurt on top but yesterday we put prawns and today we're putting like a vegan let me actually see found it garden gourmet sensational plant-based mediterranean seasoned fillet pieces so kind of like a vegan chicken essentially so yeah that's it it's very cozy right now a lot of people have actually left the campsite i think because it's raining but we're standing strong go just outside <laughs> Still watching over the fire. So yeah, very cozy. I love it. This looks big where you're going. Just cannot be here. Just like that is the end of our adventure. Gerge is driving back and I am sitting here and relaxing. We just did the dirty, is that what you say? No, we just did the deed, I don't know. Basically, we emptied the toilet, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. So these are the other sides of camping, of course, but you have to do it, it was actually super easy. And we kind of, you know, um, saved it to the last minute, saved it to the last, left it to the last minute, but it was absolutely fine. Most campsites have kind of like a, a place where you can leave it, that's all I'm saying, you will figure it out. And yeah, now we're gonna drive, sorry, this is so shaky by the way, but you know, it's quite a bumpy road. Gonna drive the one and a half hours back home to London. I'll show you if anything else happens. And this is Yeta Camping. If you want to also hire a camper van or a motorhome via GoBooney, all the links of course are below. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let's go back to London. <laughs>